Over in Uganda, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has delivered his State of the Nation address to legislators in Parliament. He's highlighted economic growth, is crediting improved infrastructure like roads and electricity for the expansion. Now, the president says 58% of the country's roads are being tarmacked at the moment using public funds, not donor funds. And that's part of Uganda's plan to become entirely self-reliant. So then, let's get you the latest details on what exactly went down on that side of the world. Michael Baleke is live in Kampala. He's got more data on this. He joins us now. Um, Michael, good to see you. So let's start with the Stanley Gage rail line, because Mr. Museveni had some interesting things to say there. He said, quote, we are only continuing to refine issues of cost and quality with the partners we are talking with. What is the cost target here for Uganda? Hello, Rama. Uh, the entire cost of the standard gauge railway on the Ugandan side is estimated to cost about $13 billion, close to about, about $12.8 billion to be precise. But of course, this is the estimate. And this is the entire line from the Kenyan border at Malaba uh, towards uh, Kampala to western Uganda, then to the northern part of Uganda, uh, a line that will go onwards to South Sudan. However, in this case, uh, for today, President Museveni was referring to phase one of the construction uh, from the Malaba border on the Kenyan side uh, to the Kampala, where a feasibility study is already complete. And part of the SGR line will cost uh, Uganda, this part of the SGR line from Malaba to Kampala will cost about $2.3 billion. However, Mr. Museveni says, while the Kenyan side uh, has already finished their phase one, he's responsible uh, for the delays because he doesn't want to, the repeat, uh, a repeat of the past mistakes. He believes Uganda did not get a good deal with the Bujagali hydropower. And so he says this time around, the SGR project should be scrutinized to the last detail so that Uganda gets value for money. However, Rama, he does not make mention uh, when the negotiations will be completed. Indeed. So the president also focusing on agriculture, says he wants output to go up, is encouraging farmers to use a lot more irrigation, a lot more solar-powered irrigation, I should point out. But let's talk about specific targets here. By how much does he want uh, food output to go up, but also at the same time, because he also said he wants a lot more manufacturing in the country, what sort of investments, incentives is he giving to manufacturers? Rama, President Museveni says why the rest of the economy actually seems to be picking up agriculture is on the decline and he attributes this largely to the lack of availability of inputs like fertilizers and the lack of irrigation uh, all year round rama much of uganda's agriculture is rain fed and president museveni is now seeking investors to come into the country to set up manufacturing plants set up factories uh, to produce, uh, like you said, solar-powered irrigation systems. He says Uganda will not import this equipment because he will be giving away, Uganda will be giving away these jobs and handing them out to uh, people abroad. And he says this is not going to happen. So he wants and is giving incentives to the people who want to come here and uh, build factories. He plans to give them tax holidays. Uh, he, uh, the Minister of Agriculture on the sidelines said that he will be scrapping tax off equipment, factory equipment that will be coming in to manufacture uh, these irrigation systems. Uh, and he said in a few months, actually, Uganda will also be commissioning a fertilizer plant in the eastern part of the country uh, to address these farmer inputs. Indeed. Right. One last question for you, Michael. Uh, the president also spoke about uh, high interest rates, saying that the privatization of some banks, in his words, quote, failed to solve the problem of high interest rates. Now, he also proposed solving that problem through the Ugandan Development Bank. If that's the case, should we expect him to pump more money in, in, in a form of capital into the Ugandan Development Bank? Yes, Roma, President Museveni says in the next few days when the budget will be read, that will be uh, next week, is uh, going to allocate, government will be allocating a significant amount of money, which they didn't mention, to the microfinance organizations to offer affordable loans to agribusiness. He says loans will be issued out between the ranges of 9 to 12 percent interest. For your information, banks currently give out loans uh, 
to, to, to businesses at about 25%. And this, they do this reluctantly to agriculture because they believe farming in Uganda is a risky venture. Uh, in the same spirit, of course, President Museveni says he's looking at a more capitalized Uganda Development Bank to cater for the industries, mainly targeting those ones that plan to add value, uh, to add uh, value to agriculture products, uh, local agriculture products. And believe, he believes this is the only way Uganda can get out of poverty, uh, through processing her products as opposed uh, to imports. Indeed, Ram. we'll leave it there for the time being. On the plus side, at least there's no talk of rate caps. We'll leave it there for the time being. Thank you very much. That's Michael Baleka there live in Kampala.